How do we select the hotels we stay at? I think we first will think what would be the most wonderful style of hotel to stay in. We choose hotels that have that flavour, that style, that history, that, 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 that essence of where we are visiting, be it in the regions of the cities. We stayed at some beautiful hotels, actually, in Stressa, we are right on the edge of the water. Castle Brando, we're in the castle there, overlooking the beautiful Italian villages. Uh, down on the Assisi coast, uh, we're right on the water, overlooking the, the, the ocean. It was just, they were just lovely areas, and, and you knew exactly what location you were at by the, uh, from, from your hotel rooms. I ask you, where would it be nice to stay in? A 500 year old hotel that was once a coaching inn for the Imperial Horses? Or a bland four star concrete and glass bed box, which could be anywhere in the world, any city. It's about where you wake up in the morning, it's about when you walk downstairs, the enjoyment you get, the, the feeling, the flavour of the hotel you're in. A 13th century hotel in Austria, family run. Um, which we found was absolutely brilliant. And Albatross had that hotel booked out, so it was just all to ourselves. It was just uh, a very close, friendly, uh, intimate type atmosphere. And that was something that is very difficult to describe and, and really worthwhile experiencing. Some of them were very large, palatial, and I do mean that literally because we did stay in a castle at one stage for a couple of days, a couple of nights. They were of much, greater character than your, um, what shall we say, stereotyped hotel. Each was a different experience and that's why we travel, it's for the experience. For instance, in Seville, in Spain, we uh, choose to stay in a hotel called the Casa de Judas. It's, it's, it is where the Jews, 500 years ago when they were persecuted, used to secrete themselves in their hidey holes. It has courtyards, it has fountains, it has that essence that is Seville, Sevilla. Then there's Leeds Castle, the finale nights on our Great British Heritage Tour. Who can truly say they stayed in a real castle? It's actually not a hotel. It is Leeds Castle, dubbed the loveliest castle in the world. It's in Kent. It has five acres of ground, 500 acres of grounds, and we have actually contracted to take over the whole castle. We have a moat around our hotel. There is no room service, but there are footmen. There is no bar, but there's a drinks trolley. There are no waiters, but there is a butler. There is no swimming pool, but there's a moat. And we dine in Henry VIII's dining room, genuinely where he used to have his feasts. You will bring home more than just memories of a concrete and glass bed box. You bring home the flavour, the feeling of the countries you are visiting and the heritage of the, uh, of the nations you have, you have stayed at.